Hello everybody, this is Maddor from FreeTradingVideos.com. It's Tuesday, January 26th, and we are looking at a uh, down gap in the markets. This is where the markets closed yesterday, and kind of consolidated along sideways post-market, then pre-market gap down, and then now we're closing that gap almost perfectly at our 109.50 uh, area. So that's uh, pretty good, or 60 area, excuse me. And if you take away the pre- and post-market data, that's almost a perfect gap fill. Uh, so that's a pretty good area of resistance we'll be watching uh, even at the open. So will we actually open right where we closed, or will it come back down here pre-market to the 109 area, which I'm watching for support now? Tested a couple times here pre-market on lower volume. Uh, but anyway, so taking into account uh, that looks a little bit more dramatic on a three-minute chart because you can't see the rest of the data. If you scrunch it all up, this is what we're looking at. So nothing to um, sneeze at, but here is on a higher time frame, and that is actually, again, testing these 109 area. Big sell-off, Thursday, Friday. Monday, consolidation after an up gap. And on a daily chart, almost looks like a little bit of a fatter doji, but it is an inside day. So that's not exactly a perfect uh, bullish harami because it's not green, but in all other ideas and ways, that is basically a harami telling me nothing more than the selling pressure had subsided for a while. So is it going to return today? That's going to be based a lot on how the market opens. I'm going to be watching that for uh, at least a, f a few minutes, 5, 10, 20 minutes. See how that shapes up. If we start heading higher, 110 is going to be a good area of resistance. And then the highs here at 110.40 slash 50 area. And sometimes it's helpful to remove the pre and post market data at this point uh, to get a better idea. And you can kind of scrunch that back down. Yep, so 110.50, not too bad of an area for resistance on the way back up. Beyond that, not too bad. 111.50 and a little bit of the round number of 11. So below 109 for support, what's interesting about that is it matches perfectly with a rising 100 MA on a daily chart. So we'll be watching that number extremely closely. Below that, 108 still exists for me as support, and then 107. So these round numbers. Interesting again, looking for a lower swing high here and some kind of move back into the 112 ultimately for any kind of bullish sentiment read to stay in here. Otherwise, a consolidation that's low it's going to be a whole different story. So keep that in, uh, in your hat. And remember where we are on a weekly chart and why this pullback uh, isn't that unlikely. So good stuff, everybody. I'll be talking to you around lunch to see how things are shaping up in the day. And trade well.